Maya Angelou said that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Today we're talking about legacy, right? Something that has led some people to totally dismantle their families out of pride. Some have built families out of compassion and care. Legacy, something that has led people to destroy whole civilizations and something that has led others to rescue people around the world. Legacy. Legacy, the thing that transcends. Legacy, the things that people remember. It's like branding, but it transcends generations. When you die, your name lives on, right? What will you be remembered by? Think about that. If you really want to know what a good estimate of what you should be doing today is, just think, if this was on my tombstone, would I like it? If this is what people were remembering me by, would I like it? You got to think to yourself then in that moment, what do I actually want for myself? How do I want to be remembered? What impact do I want to have on the world? Is what I'm doing now consistent with where I want to be? Is what I'm doing now going to hurt or going to help the people that I care about? Because if you die, your name lives on and there are people who share your last name. There are people who share your first name. There are people who share your middle name. There are people who were inspired by that name and people hurt by that name. What will you be remembered by? Legacy. I say this now because I'm, I consider this my last, my last YouTube video for the Black Men in Self Love series. I'm about to graduate from Morehouse and I wanted to do this in my last semester, this series in my, in my last semester because I really wanted to leave something that, that my brothers can go on and uh, look on, you know, after I've graduated. If, they, if they've never met me before, they can at least have this. A few words uh, over a couple of hours of content, right? But legacy, we're talking about legacy here. What lasts? How will you be remembered? I, I have on my boy D Prophecy's shirt because I was just at his birthday party and, you know, he was getting very sentimental and talking about the people who supported him. And he, he made one mention of, of, you know, he has all the material things, but if he was having this birthday party and nobody showed up, well, that would tell him how much it actually mattered. Right? If there was nobody there to actually share in the prosperity, if there was nobody there that would share in the joyousness and the virtue, does it really matter? We have to think about that. I mean, there's a uh, proverb, and one of, my, one of my colleagues likes to use this phrase, but uh, something along the lines of, you know, the meaning of life is, the meaning of life is to plant seeds for trees under which we will never sit. It means that I'm going to plant a seed, I'm going to start something, I'm going to build something that ultimately I will not enjoy, but somebody after me, somebody after them, and somebody after them will get to enjoy it. That's like the uh, the proverb, right, from this, uh, uh, one of those phrases from the Bible that's like, you know, a good man will leave an inheritance, not just for his son, but for his son's son, or, uh, you know, be inclusive, really, just, just to leave something for your children's children, to leave something for your mentees' children, leave something for, for your dog's dog. <laughs> But to build something that you do not only benefit from, but something that multiple generations can benefit from when we're dead and gone. If we really want to think about if we're doing the right thing right now, we have to think about whether we'll regret it. And here's one thing. Not pursuing a dream because you're afraid is not a good reason 
to not do it. Because then the legacy becomes one of fear, not of terrorizing others, but of living in fear, which is like not living at all. And if you don't feel comfortable enough, or if you, if you don't push yourself enough to at least get out of that comfort, to at least overcome the fear, have you truly lived? Now, I don't think that people ever miss out on life. Life is what you make it. And if you sit there and you tell yourself that if I didn't go here, I'm missing out, one, you're forcing FOMO on yourself, but two, every moment that you've spent where you are was meant to happen. And you have a different experience from everybody else. You're supposed to. It's a given. Just because people go to a party and you didn't doesn't mean that you missed out. Now, you might have lost an opportunity to meet somebody that could have a huge impact on your life. But then you have to ask yourself, well, what am I doing while I'm not there? Because if you're grinding, if you're working, if you're really doing your thing at the house, you're not missing out. You're building for your future. But if it really matters to you to be there, then be there. But no matter where you are, just be there right? Just be present. The whole thing about legacy is actually to be present. Think about what's going on in the world around you right now. Where is it going? Think about what you believe in, what you stand for, what you would stand up for. Think about the people that are with you. If the phone is ringing and you're sitting next to somebody you love and you feel like I don't spend enough time with you, put the phone down. And like Erica Badu said, I can make you put your phone down. I can make it. Never mind. If you truly don't want to miss out on life, live the one that you have. Don't try to live the life that of the person that you see on Instagram or Twitter or Reddit or Pinterest. Live your life. It's not about what other people do. It's not about what other people say. It's about what you want for your future. It's about what you want for your descendants. It's about what you want for your mentee. It's about what you want for your apprentice. It's about what you want for your dog. <laughs> it's about what you want for your neighborhood. It's all about you. And it benefits others. Let's think about legacy. How will you be remembered? Think about what you're doing right now. Think about what you're doing right now. Right now you're watching this video. And if you're not taking action, if the thought isn't, oh my gosh, this guy, Wolf, is telling me, I need to do the thing that I feel like called to do. And you're not doing it. You're probably living in fear. But if you are doing it, I want you to keep going. When you follow your passion, you follow your dream and you bet on yourself, keep doing it. Keep doing what you say you're going to do. Live, live in integrity, live, live in sincerity, live, live in determination. Do what you set out to do because you're the only one that's going to do it the way that you can do it. Mess up along the way. But don't give up. There's no such thing as winners and losers, except for when people give up. Because a loser gives up, but a winner always wins if they figure out what they get out of it. If you learn, if you've grown, if you've connected with somebody else, if you've learned what you don't know, you're a winner. Let's find value in just being present and just absorbing what we get in the moment. That will teach us something that we can pass along to the next generation and the generation after that. If we think about right now, if you wouldn't want your child to experience something, if you wouldn't want somebody else that you know to experience something, let's build something so that they and their child and their child don't have to experience it. Let's make something that they, that you feel they should experience. Let's make something beautiful for them. 
Let's make something that many generations can explore in wonder and in love. If that's the legacy you want to lead. That's not for me to decide. But I have my own journey to fulfill. And so I'm not leaving you. I'm still here. I'll see the comments section. But I can't stay here. I have so much to do. And I wish each and every one of you many blessings on your journeys. And I'm here for your journey. Comment. Follow me on Instagram at Okami underscore AJ. DM me. Let me know what your dream is. I want to support you. There are so many beautiful things that are coming into this world. And I am so glad that I have had this series to share with each and every one of you. Hopefully, hopefully we can help hundreds, hopefully thousands, hopefully millions, maybe even a billion black men. Maybe pass it on to the next person. Pass it on to two people, double it, you know. But what will you leave, leave behind? Will you share this with somebody? Will you share the knowledge? I don't need views, but I do need impact. I don't need followers or subscribers, but I do need impact. If the information here was helpful for you, I need you to pass the information along. And if you don't, if you don't feel like you can communicate it as well, then just share the video. But we need to share. We need to leave something behind. And I'm getting very long winded because I don't know how to say goodbye because I don't say goodbye. So all I will say is see you later. I'll probably make another mental health video again. But until then, I'm Anthony J. The Wolf Hunter, a graduating senior finance major at Morehouse College class of 2023. And I'm so happy to have shared this journey with you.